Okay, so I just removed the stuck strut tower coil over. So just a wheel well empty. There's our rotor resting on the jack. There's the beauty and the beast. So the only thing you have to do is take off the clip, the plastic clip for um, the ABS sensor line off the stock clip. You gotta just take it off. There's little tabs. So you pull it out and put it right here. So that's the only thing you gotta do between the two. Okay, so here's the clip. I put it on Megan coilover, took it off the stock one, and now, um, well, all I'm gonna do is just hold this coil over, just bring it into the wheel well, and then push it up with one hand, uh, try to get it in these three holes, and just kind of put some knots on it so it can be held there. So the only thing that you have to worry about is orientation. This is the installed one, as you can see. So, it's the front of the car. So the orientation is for those Allen controlled uh, bolts. They should move left to right when you install the coilover, because you're adjusting the camber. So, I'm not 100% sure about this as of right now, but I googled. Um, some pictures of the pillow ball mounts and that's what they look like and that's kind of what makes sense okay so I put the coil over in place so I was holding it from the bottom guiding it through these holes and then putting the nuts on them so I wanted to share something really quick this jack actually is really helpful so what I just did is I just jacked up this hub and rotor assembly and it fit perfectly in here so by just jacking it up gently I was able to align really easily this whole thing and just connect it to the uh, the coilover because otherwise this is really heavy this is probably like this way is I don't know probably 30 pounds 40 pounds and holding this while holding the coilover and trying to align the nuts um, align the holes and then put the bolts through them is extremely hard and the jack using the jack is actually really helpful so yeah so I decided to put those bolts in first so I put the first one in I'm gonna put the second one somewhere over there yep. this one is not as easy still easy so yeah those are in and I'll just tie them or rather okay so I just put the two nuts the two huge 22 millimeter nuts I didn't torque it yet it's got to be torqued to 220 foot pounds so I'll do that later so I just did that. So let's adjust the stabilizer bar next. So this right here has to be torqued to 55 foot pounds. And it's a 17 millimeter. So I'll torque this. I'll just I'm about to torque it. So I just torqued the stabilizer, stabilizer link. To 55 foot pounds. So I'm about to secure the these two brackets that hold the brake line and the sensor line with a 12 millimeter bolt. After that I'm gonna secure this bracket with a 12 millimeter bolt as well. 
Okay, so I'm securing the bracket. Right there. That uh, hold the brake line in the ABS sensor line. So, and it's a 12 millimeter. It's a torque torque, I don't know, 15, 20 foot pounds, nothing major. So the next one is this one. That's a 12 millimeter as well. So I'm gonna do that. I just install back that uh, bolt that holds the brake line. So what we've done so far, we put back these two huge 22 millimeter bolts um, so they're just tight but they're not torqued they have to be torqued to 220 foot pounds now we have the stabilizer bar link uh, that was torqued to 55 then we will the brackets holding the sensor line and the brake line we installed this little bracket holding the brake line so the little thing is left is this plastic clip so we're just gonna uh, clip the sensor line in there and then torque these bolts to 220 I don't have a torque wrench for 220 I have 150 so I just do it to 150 and then I just take a get a breaker bar and kind of put all my weight on it and after that this part's gonna be all set Okay, I put the sensor line in the plastic clip and then I torqued down these two huge bolts which was really painful because when you torque the nut, the bolts turning, um, doesn't happen on the stock uh, strut tower but these I guess are, these surfaces are too smooth so I had to use two wrenches, that was really painful. So this area is all set. So we torqued our sta stabilizer link to 55 foot-pounds. Uh, these two bolts to roughly 200, I'd guess. And then we put a sensor line in the clip. We put the bracket for the brake lines here, connected with the 12. And then this bracket. So here it's all set. So now we go to the top. And here, I tighten these bolts, uh, probably you could say 20-30 foot-pounds, not too much because you're not supposed to torque them until they're on the ground. And now I'm just going to put the wheel back on and lower the car. Okay, so I lowered the car, I installed the wheels, torque down the wheels, lowered the car, um, I released the e-brake because it levels out the car and now I'm just gonna torque these top three bolts right here so and those are I think they're like 55 foot-pounds or something like that and after I torque those three I'm gonna torque down this uh, the Cusco brace so if you don't have any kind of brace it doesn't apply to you but otherwise it's just you torque these top three to roughly 50 55 foot pounds and after that I'm gonna go for a drive see if it's just gonna collapse or not okay just a warning about what I said previously about using a jack to support uh, the rotor it was a great idea it worked great however I just drove uh, around and it was just incredible loud squeal and it was just would not stop and I just spent half an hour trying to figure out what happened and this metal back shield ended up folding I don't know if you can see it yet that's the bottom end up folding here up against the rotor so yeah uh, I said it was good to use the jack 
It's convenient, but not recommended. Okay, so done installing the front uh, coilovers. It took roughly four hours for the two. I mean, with I'm trying to figure out how it works. Uh, so now the only thing left is just to put the metal cowl back in, uh, the one that's held with 10 millimeter screws, and then put the windshield wiper uh, motor in. Don't forget to connect the power plug. I forgot. I forgot a couple times. That was a real pain. Um, and then the plastic cowl that kind of goes up to the up to the windshield. So this part, the plastic one, and that's it. And you're done.